this is the uh, digital thermometer, a project I've been quite uh, excited to build. So it takes the uh, wiring of the last project, the LCD screen, and it's just four new components. Uh, well, new, only four components to that, but one really new component, and that is the uh, thermosistor, which is a type of resistor which is greatly influenced by heat, and then, you know, and that can affect the, like, the circuit ohms or whatever, and the audio, you know, can like read the difference and measure that as temperature. And here you can display temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. So, um, it's a not too complex code. Um, first, include liquidcrystal.h, that's the LCD library that makes it much easier. Uh, I think otherwise you have to like, you know, say, okay, you know, the, this pixel right here is on, blah, blah, blah. So it's much real helpful to use libraries. And the fine pins is pretty easy. Um, LCD, and the reason I put this here, because, you know, there's, the LCD screen has six uh, pins on the Arduino, so it's nice to remind you, you know, what each of those uh, <coughs> pins are connected to. Because when I look at all those like input, whatever things, what are they called? Um, so, LCD begin setup simple, just tells us that it's a 16 by 2 LCD screen. This just says, and sets it as analog read. Um, this right here, this these two lines of code, they're quite confusing. This one, I would definitely not be able to re remember by myself. But that is a semi-accurate way that the uh, Arduino can translate, you know, the changes in pulses into kelvins. And then the next one right here, translates those kelvins into celsius, and this one changes the celsius into fahrenheit. And then I have this block, which is um, to actually tell the LCD screen to display, you know, what it has to display. So um, the, uh, the original code included with this set, it's um, it really only written to display one um, at a time, you know, one measure but with really simple modification. It's like the other ones are commented out, or Fahrenheit's commented out, but with some really simple modification, you can display two at a time, and the, all you have to do is just uncomment, or you know, type out the Fahrenheit print, and just have the set cursor in front of it, and set cursor is the same, would be the same as the, uh, what's it, the uh, Celsius one, just, put a one for the row value, and remember that in code, the, if we're like referring to the LCD screen, for example, zero is the first one, and um, one is the second one. And look at that cool outline around my finger. That's cool. Um, and then I also added the Celsius thing, and there's a 500 delay, 500 millisecond delay. Um, I wouldn't say it's entirely accurate though, and that's fine. It's all packed into this tiny little thing. I could have entered something wrong, that might be it. But the AC is at uh, 76 degrees Fahrenheit. And, this, and it could just be like locational, so we're gonna have a little uh, neat thermometer here. That's saying 78 too, so I guess it's not, yeah, about the same. This one's a bit lower. I think it's just because it's near the computer. Um, but, so, no guarantee that it's fully, fully accurate. But, I mean, if you really need it to be, your thermometer to be, like, accurate by the uh, temp, the exact uh, degree Fahrenheit, then you shouldn't be using a uh, Arduino-based thermometer that you made yourself. You should just buy a professional one, in my opinion. But this is a pretty cool project. Yeah.